What is up, my little babies? Welcome to another episode of Hip Hop with Lou. On today's episode, I'm bringing you some super, absolutely fire fucking freestyles. But before we get into the freestyles, I must take the time to say, make sure you guys subscribe to Code 7. Check out That's a Bar on YouTube. There is absolutely fire fucking bars. And it's absolutely sponsored by one of the hottest studios in the city. Gas Station Studios. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Hey, look, see, I don't got a paper, a pencil, a pen in this duffel. I got some shit that'll make niggas shuffle. Don't want to fight, nigga, don't want to tussle. I don't want your bitch, nigga, don't want to cuddle. Young nigga reckless, you could come test it. I stay rolling dice from 7 11. No, I ain't rich, but I get an impression in love with the bag. Think I got an obsession, can't fuck with no bitch. Asking me questions, I am the shit in that thanks to depression. Now that I'm balling and flex, yeah, they keep calling and texting, ignoring the mess. Where was you at when a nigga was stressing? I'm just getting started, say classes and session. It's time that I teach a little lesson. I had me a low, I got me a I went from nothing to nuts. When I get rich, gotta get out the spot. Got homies that turned in the arms. When I go up, wanna cop me a yacht. Been doing good, I can't say that I'm not. And I've been out the way, but I'm getting this guap. Just started bad rapping and no, I won't stop. First of all, let me tell y'all something about Lonnie. I absolutely think that she is a problem for real. I don't know if she's gonna start being more consistent with the music. But you definitely should, because she said, I ain't got a pencil or paper or a pen in this duffel. I got some shit that'll make niggas shuffle. To the right, to the right, to the left, to the left. Now kick, now kick, now kick. Girl, I love it. I love it. I don't know what it is about her delivery, but it's just like this. It's just cold. It's just hard. It's just like, no, I don't want your bitch and I don't want to cuddle. You know what I'm saying? She sound reckless with this shit. Like, her flow is real reckless. She said, where was you at when a nigga was stressing? Because I'm just getting started. You see what I'm saying? She, this is only the beginning. Do y'all understand that once she gets comfortable and consistently in her bag, I think she's going to shake a lot of motherfuckers in their boots. And she said, because it's time to teach these niggas a lesson. And I think the lesson is... You a problem. I think that's just the lesson that these motherfuckers is gonna learn. I need you to hear me loud. I need you to hear me clear. You stay in your bag and you stay consistent because you know what the fuck you doing. I remember when I watched you do that tag team with 4-5 and I think uh, uh, King David or sorry if I fucked your name up. I couldn't take my eyes off of you and your delivery and they was tag teaming that shit and I just remember each time I was excited to see you tag back the fuck in and it's something that you have. I don't know what it is yet but I guess we all about to find out at the same fucking time because i am here for your talent i am here for this motherfucking freestyle Whoopty back from the UK, talking to CJ, brought to you, say, new night and I'm ready for the new day. I will be rich like Roddy, young like Philly, I'm up for a milli, but I make a billy like Eilish. I may act silly like Willie from Philly, regardless, I'm really so stylish. I move so swift, you can call me Taylor. Why go I mess, can I help like a waiter? I'm more of a martyr, I'm not a traitor. And yo, sayonara, see you later, what? Smoking that Zaza, it goes straight. Oh my God, first of all, hold up. This is probably the coldest shit I've ever seen. I don't know if y'all know the Yaya, -ya, the, the CJ Whoop De Whoop song. She is singing the beat. Do y'all hear her singing the beat? She not beatboxing it. She not, she. Oh my God, listen. When I saw this, I couldn't believe it. And y'all ain't even gonna believe she do it to every beat. She sings the beats. Now, they is brothers and sisters. And if you gonna have a sibling and y'all both talented, this is what y'all need to do when y'all come together. Do you understand me? I mean, that is some type of impressive vocal control right there. Like, she gotta have some vocal training because that just is crazy. She just... A nigga, I'm out of breath just doing it halfway. That is impressive. That is like... Y'all, coming straight. This what y'all do in the UK? Because I think that's what he said, but we finna get into these bars in a second. But do y'all understand she is singing the whoopty beat? She is singing the beat. And then her brother come in, he said, whoop, he back from the UK. Let me tell you something. The UK, they kind of got bars. Now, I can't always catch everything because they accent get a little tricky for me. But he, but they delivery, they rap deep from the UK. Whoop, they, 
Woo, and I like how he came in hard, just like with the same energy that CJ Wooty came in. He said, come straight like the UK. Like, come on, UK. Come on, UK. And that's how they rap out there, too, because I be watching some of them. And I was just, I finally found the courage. I said, fuck it. Y'all might get a UK edition out of me because they be rapping their ass off out there. He said something talking to CJ brought the UK. I don't know what the hell he said, but I know he said something about he going to be rich like Roddy Rich. And now I'm going to tell you what. You and your sister keep tag teaming this shit like this, y'all definitely gonna be rich. Y'all gonna be rich, y'all gonna be successful, not just in the UK, but in the USA. Do you feel what I'm saying? And he said, I move so swift, you could call me Taylor. Let me tell you what, I love, that's probably one of my favorite Taylor Swift bars, because y'all know I love Taylor Swift. And I still can't get past the fact that she did not run out of breath yet on this motherfucker freestyle. She is still holding it down for him as he cruising on this motherfucker. He, she just still I cannot believe y'all don't understand how much I can't believe how she's singing this beat. That is hard. Do y'all understand how hard that is? Go try it right now. Somebody at home try to sing it. Now you see what I'm talking about. And you know what? He a cool dude too, cause he was back there in a rich like Billy and a and a grill in his mouth, and it was a swag. Like it was just like y'all was one in that motherfucking car, and not one of y'all messed up because you know why y'all was in sync in that bitch. And it's just like it, y'all gotta understand. This why this is one of my favorite things about seeing multiple people in one video, in one freestyle video, because y'all have to understand there's a deeper connection there with that shit. If you fuck up, you finna fuck me up. So if you run out of breath, you finna fuck up one of these bars. She said, I don't even trip because I'm finna hold this note. And all I need you to do is rap. And he did his shit and she did her shit. And together, y'all did one of the greatest motherfucking goofy remixes I have ever seen. And it can't nobody top it. I said what the fuck I said. I get so I'll be lonely. Sometimes I need somebody to hold me. And if your man tripping, we homies. He be hawking, tell him skate like Tony. Uh, girl, I really think you had it rough. Girl, you know I want you bad enough. Everything you say, don't be adding up. I know we can make him mad enough. To make up for all the times he messed up your makeup. I know you think it damn, should we break up? But even if you stay, he gon' pay up. Cause you ain't never had a nigga just like me. Come and do slide with the lane I creep. I know you know I'm just what you need. Usually, this ain't me, but a nigga been words sometimes too but y'all get what i was not on the beat let me tell you something before we get into this freestyle when you touch hits when you when you choose to hop on classic instrumentals or classic shit you cannot fuck this up and when i tell you this is an artist that blows me the fuck away i was all up and through her instagram for a long time probably too fucking long she not only has bars, but she has a beautiful voice. And I picked this one so y'all can see her rap and sing together. And I fucking hate when y'all do that. That is the Drake effect. And y'all know I can't handle that shit. Do y'all see how, did y'all see how she hit that? The only one for me. What? 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 But you, oh, hell no. You are too good at what you do. You, she could do everything. I swear to God, she could rap on any beat. I've seen her go from classic beats to the to the, the, the hot songs. Now she, she when she got on the Lil Nas X Old Town Road, I was fucking done. I said, "You're not finna body this beat." Hell no. She did, cause she cold. And then she said, "I think I need a girl that can hold me." Cause sometimes I be getting lonely, girl. I'm gonna tell you what, I I will hold you all if you keep singing like this and doing this. I don't know who you want to hold you, but I definitely will. And then she said, "You know." If your man tripping, I tell him we homies because he be hawking like Tony. Y'all know who the fuck Tony Hawk is, the skateboard nigga. But that was a bar right there, okay? And then what she said, I know what he saying. I had enough. I know he can. I ain't even gonna try to say it. I'm gonna just say, she said, guess what? Yeah, I know what he be telling you don't be adding up. 
So with me and you together, we we could make him mad enough for real. And then what she did with the makeup and the makeup, like you know he want to make up for all the times that he fucked up your makeup and he, you just be sitting there crying. You just did your fresh face. These faces not cheap. They not easy and they take time. And for you to sit here and make me cry and I keep fucking up my makeup. Let me tell you what. I can so lonely. I wish I could do this. I wish I could do what you do. Like from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my ass, from the bottom of my toes, from the bottom of anything that hit the bottom. That's how deeply I mean you are amazing. I didn't know which freestyle to pick. Y'all might see her on Hip Hop With Lou 20 more times because I have about 20 of them bitches saved. Don't care. Get used to it. I don't give a shit. This is my shit. And she cold. And if you want to be on here 20 times, then step your game up and get cold like this. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Hip Hop With Lou. Make sure you guys also check out That's A Bar on YouTube. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay, let me stop playing. I'm just lit. I feel good. These freestyles were absolutely amazing. For real, y'all, if y'all don't do nothing else, go act. Go like, I know sometimes y'all don't be listening to me. Listen to me this time, for real. Go to their Instagram pages. What I showed you was not even half of what they can do. Do you understand what I'm saying? You better take your ass to their pages. Y'all better make sure y'all hit like, comment, and subscribe. And you know what? Shit, I'm just proud. I just, I don't know what else to say. I just, what a great episode this was.